It's Monday the 8th and it's a brand new week. And you know how we're going to start this week? With Gabby's lack of self-control. So I went to the movies by myself and right next to the movie theater is Barnes & Noble. And I got new books. So we're going to do a book haul. The first book I picked up is No Longer Human by Osamu Danzai. And the back says that mine has been life of much shame. I can't even guess myself what it must be to live the life of a human being. Portraying himself as a failure, the protagonist of Osamu Dazai is no longer human, narrates a seemingly, seemingly normal life, even while he feels himself incapable of understanding human beings. Obayozo's attempts to reconcile himself to the world around him begin in early childhood, continue through high school, where he becomes a clown to mask his alienation, and eventually lead to a failed suicide attempt as an adult. Without sentimentality, he records the casual cruelties of life at its fleeting moments of human connection and tenderness. This is a classic. This is a Japanese literary work. Let's find out. This one is a little on the thin side though, so no complaints. Looks like this is 177 pages. The next book I got is A Certain Hunger by Chelsea G. Summers. And this is about a food critic who grows tired of trying food and decides that she would want to, you know, murder instead. Like, I support women's rights, but more importantly, I support women's wrongs. I'm so excited to read this. This one is pretty short too. I see this as 247 pages. The next book I got is a haunting thriller and it's called Shudder by Ramona Emerson and I believe that it is um yes it is own voices and has a indigenous main character so I believe Native American main character so I'm very excited about that but the back of this says that Rita Todashin is a forensic photographer working for the Albuquerque police force. Her excellent photography skills have cracked many cases. She's almost supernaturally good at capturing details. In fact, Rita has been hiding a secret. She sees the ghosts of crime victims who point her towards clues the other investigators overlook. That's all I need to know. I literally read that in the store and I was like, okay, you're coming home with me. I don't even know what else is going on. Don't need to know. This book comes in at 297 pages. Next book, I have been watching for a while, and if you are not following her on Instagram, you absolutely need to be. I believe the name is Ziran J. Zhao, but don't quote me because I'm horrible at pronouncing things. But the book is Iron Widow. And I don't really know anything about this except from her Instagram posts. And she talks about how queer it is, how poly it is, how it's about the, like, only female emperor of China. Like, I, I'm excited. It's a little on the thick side, but I'm excited. Very, very excited to find out more. This has 391 pages in it. The next book I picked up is the last book. Holy crap, that was so fast. And the last book, and this is the one I'm looking forward to the most. And it's just because I can relate to it the most. <laughs> so it's called Four Found Dead by Natalie D. Richards. It says there were seven of them working late, then the doors locked. So it's about a group of teenagers who are working at the local movie theater, and this movie theater is closing. At the movie theater where Joel works, the last show has ended, but the nightmare is just beginning. Tonight, Riverview Theaters is closing forever, the last remaining business in a defunct shopping mall. The moviegoers have left, 
and Joe and her six co-workers have the final shift, a shift that quickly takes a dark turn. First, a stranger arrives with a chilling accusation, then the power goes out and the manager disappears, along with the keys to the lobby doors and the theater safe. Their attention turns to terror when Joe discovers the dead body of one of her co-workers. Now their only chance is to escape the murderer in their midst is through the dark, shuttered mall. With its boarded-up exits and disabled fire alarms, the complex is filled with hiding places for both pursuer and pursued. In order to survive this night, Joe and her friends must trust one another, navigate the sprawling ruins of the mall, and out with a outwit a killer before he kills again and i'm so excited about this i read five total strangers and i loved that book right up until the end so i'm hoping that that doesn't happen with this because this is so up my alley like i might even start this tomorrow like not gonna lie as soon as i saw it it was absolutely necessary also not didn't do this on purpose but it might have been like subconsciously but like Every book is read. Like every every single book is read. I don't I don't know what's going on here, but yeah, so hopefully they all live up to the hype. Yeah, not even going to lie. I'm probably going to start Four Found Dead tomorrow. But that's what I picked up. I am currently reading Fortune Favors the Dead, and Fortune Favors the Dead by Stephen Spotswood. I keep wanting to call him Scott. Stephen Spotswood. I'm currently reading um, The Girl Who Knew Too Much on audio. I'm about 20% through that, so I'm getting there. And then I am also reading... Shady Hollow. I haven't really made any more progress on Shady Hollow. I've mostly been listening to uh, The Girl Who Knew Too Much by Amanda Quick. But I'm getting there. I'm about 20-25% through the audiobook. So we'll see. But yeah, now I've got five more books to add to my TBR. And um, yeah, so maybe I'll finish them before I die. I It's really hard to talk about completing your TBR because like books get published almost every month. And there's, I feel like there's just not enough time. There's not enough time to read all the books that I want to read before I die. <sighs> okay. Existential crisis aside, I'm excited about the new books that I picked up. And I'll see you next time. Sleuth on! Hey! So today is Mother's Day. It's the 14th. It's the 14th of May. Why do I not know what day of month it is? Let's just get into what I've been doing for the week. <laughs> um, so I finished two books this week. I finished Four Found Dead by Natalie D. Richards. And I finished The Mary Shelley Club by Goldie Moldowski. Uh, I finished this one first. The Mary Shelley Club is the book girlies pick of the month. Um, I'm going to give it four carrots. Uh, I really liked it, but it wasn't quite there for me, but it was pretty close. Um, pitched as a high school version of Scream, it follows a girl named Rachel, our main protagonist, and she's come to a new school, and she's having trouble fitting in, um, because the new school is, like, super rich, super exclusive, she's a scholarship student. Um, she winds up making one friend, but then discovers that there is, like, a secret society at school called the Mary Shelley Club, and that they do pranks, pranks called fear tests, and basically they set up this entire scenario, and they attempt to scare people, and with the scream aspect, you know there's going to be some double crossing and some people taking it too far. They did a really, really, really good job with this. Um, let me make sure to check my book journal, make sure I didn't leave anything out. Yeah, so... She discovers this secret horror group that does fear tests to 
to uh, people together and having discovered them, they let her in and she feels at home, surrounded by people who have a love of horror movies like she does. And she participates in them, but there appears to be this like masked man running around messing up the tests. And she has to figure out if it's part of the group, if it's someone else, or even worse, someone from her past. So I gave this four carrots. I really, really liked it. Um, it's a little hefty at like 470 pages or something. Yeah, it's a little hefty at 466 pages, but it read like butter. Like, I started reading a little bit, then I had to stop so the girls could catch up, then I started reading a little bit more, then I had to stop. There was one time when I was reading and I wound up um, like 240 pages in like an afternoon and I was like okay I need to put this away because I'm now halfway through the book and 40 50 percent further than any of the other girls so gotta put this away so I put it away for a bit and then everybody started catching up. So finish this Thursday at work I probably had maybe I was probably at about 60 percent when I finished it at work so I mean like I said, book moves like butter. You're gonna want to know what happens. You're not gonna want to put it down. It's gonna be hard. <laughs> the next book that I finished was Four Found Dead by Natalie D. Richards, who is an Ohioan, which is neat. It's always cool when cool people are from here, you know? Um, so this book follows a cast of characters and the main character's name is Joe. They all work at a movie theater called Riverview Theaters and it's their last night on the job. So Riverview is connected to a dead mall and that mall is going to be completely torn down. Every exit is blocked, like that kind of thing. The only thing functioning people coming in and out of is the theater. So this theater will be closing tonight. It is the last night that the theater will be in operation. They the book starts with them closing up shop and getting ready to enjoy pancakes together um, as their, you know, last night at work. But then a mysterious character shows up, there's a fight, and then people start dropping like flies. The body count in this book is already up front, but honestly, it was outrageous because the book is so character driven. You are very saddened when people start dropping like flies. But the book was so good. Like I could not put it down. I was reading. It was like 3 a.m. Probably on like chapter 20, 22. And I was like, OK, I have to put this away. I have to go to bed. I have work in the morning. I have to sleep. <laughs> so. I read this in about two settings. Um, really, really liked it. I'm giving it 4.5 carats. It was so, 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 so good. And there were a lot of things that like made me feel, made it feel like home. Like the atmosphere of the writing, like is just so very Ohio in like the best way possible. Um, there's a dead mount mall where I live too, so like I could really fucking picture it. And at certain points, it was terrifying. I had chills. It was great. <laughs> so those are the two books that I finished this week. I did start two more, so I'm about 50-60% through The Girl Who Knew Too Much by Amanda Quick. And then I started a new book last night, What Have I Done by Alex Finley, which is our next Alex Finley. I'm so excited. I love, love, love their writing. And the last two books I read both got five carats. So I'm excited to see what's going on with this guy. I started this last night. I'm on page 66. Um, so I am zooming zooming through this uh, but this is basically about three characters who grew up together at an orphanage and now someone is after them um, someone kills one of their childhood friends and then that brings in the FBI and then everything is kind of sort of 
brought together. So I'm super excited to see all of these like storylines and how they're going to intersect as they are all adults now and exactly what the mystery is and when I get to solve it. And then Saturday, I went to the barbecue fest. Uh, it was a lot of fun. It was a little weird. So like the first half of the fest was barbecue and then the other half was all art. But it was neat. I got these honeycomb earrings there. I also got, I got nothing but earrings there. The barbecue was actually really good, although I'm not a fan of barbecue sauce, but I love barbecued food. There was a truck had loaded brisket tots and they were delicious. I had almost a full one because I shared it with two different sets of people and then I almost went back to get one for myself to go but I didn't. But now that it's a new day I kind of wish that I did. It was so freaking good. So it was tater tots crema brisket on mine but when you order it as a barbecue sauce and chopped up uh, Cheetos on top, y'all. It was so good. Oh my god. <laughs> and then I went to two different shops. Oh, my cat's down there. <laughs> went to two different shops and I got earrings. So I got these. I got these. These. Yes. These gorgeous earrings like do y'all see this i cannot wait to start wearing these i think that's pretty much it as far as what i did this week i've had i've had a tragedy so if you're looking for me and i'm not there that's why um, i will be back in full bloom and until then please respect my privacy and don't ask too many questions unless they're about books. Um, so I finished two books this week, started two more, and I can't wait to see you next week, hopefully, with more bookish thoughts. Thanks so much for listening to me ramble. I'm Gabby, this is The Ink Bunny, and I'll see you next time. Sleuth on.